At the end of this video, you should be able to Define audio and video conferencing Identify the communication devices and examples used in video conferencing applications Information and communication technology has revolutionized how people do business today so much so that you can actually run an enterprise and earn profit without having a physical shop or store. ICT has empowered people to become entrepreneurs and generate income for their family. However, as in any profession or industry, one must adhere to safety rules and responsible practices to protect one's own interests and of others. Many individuals, groups, organizations, and business enterprises have come to be so dependent on ICT. We use it for almost everything we do, from studying and researching, leisure and socializing, communicating, doing business, and even exercising, we all use technology in different ways. Thus, we have to keep both our hardware and software reliable. There are many benefits in using ICT in entrepreneurship. Improves the management of a business in the area of accountancy, stocks control, inventory, etc. Makes it easier to access online registration of a business. Facilitates better communication between clients and providers such as by using email or social media or by providing a web page or website. Develops computer skills for e-learning, networking, etc. Optimizes resources and improves the marketing of their products and services. Information and communication technology or ICT facilities benefits a lot of people from different institutions, corporations, and even in the education sector. This includes the use of wireless network, internet, email, computer, tablet, laptop, and other electronic devices. Audio conferencing is a meeting among three or more persons in different locations that typically uses handheld wired telephones, speaker phones, or mobile phones. Since audio used during this conference, it is a must to have a clear transmission of everyone's voice while video conferencing is a meeting among participants in different locations that typically uses computer networks to transmit both audio text, and video data. The following are the requirements in using the video conferencing. Audio. Sound transmitted from any communicating device. Video. Moving visual images usually recorded digitally or by a videotape. Conference. A meeting to discuss a topic. Internet browser. An application used to access different websites. Internet, the interconnection of computers to access different websites. Tools, it is the software accessed via internet and used by websites for an online program. Video conferencing is widely used in different fields from homes, schools, to business establishments. At home, it helps families and friends to stay connected to loved ones from different places in and out of the country. In school, it may enable students to see each other, share documents, and discuss lecture even if they are in different cities or even countries. It may also allow virtual field trip. In businesses, video conferencing is efficient to use not only during meetings, but also when dealing with customers. Product demonstration, for instance, may be executed more effectively through video conferencing rather than explaining it verbally. E-groups. A group, often termed as a community, e-group, or club, is a feature in many social network services that admits users to create, post, comment to, and read from their own interest. There are different online tools consisting of softwares where one can hold audio-video conferencing simultaneously in different locations and with different e-groups participating and we call it audio-video conferencing tools. An instant messaging and voice over IP or VOIP app for smartphones settled by Viber Media. It allows the users to send images, 
video, and audio media messages. An online social networking website where people can construct profiles, share information such as photos and videos about themselves, and respond on link to the information posted by others. One of the largest social networks that works to interact with other people. An IP telephone service provider that provides free calling between subscribers and low-cost calling to people who use the device. Skype supports file transfers, texting, video chat, and video conferencing. A mobile text and voice messaging communication service established by Tencent in China, first released in January 2011. An American communications technology company headquarters in Sahalil, Sahalan and Jose, California. It provides video telephony and online chat services through a cloud-based peer-to-peer software platform and it is used for teleconferencing, telecommuting, distance education, and social relations. Internet safety. People from all over the world can use these online tools. While the benefits brought by the use of ICT in business are enormous, there are pitfalls as well, especially if one is not careful. There are individuals in the internet who prey on unwitting victims. But by following some important guidelines, one can avoid being victimized. Some of the safety and responsible practices in using video and audio conferences are Use the computer or mobile device for learning, study, and research for information relevant to your subjects. Keep your password safe. Do not give it away. Most sites only allow participants who are at least 13 years old. Children should be guided by their parents or adults in, in accessing websites. Respect others and treat them the way you would like to be treated. Do not copy other people's work. Do not make untrue remarks that, that embarrass others. Do not use other people's accounts. Do not share another person's full name or send his or her photo without permission. Be careful in sharing your personal information. If you are the moderator, post the rules for the participants. If you are a participant, follow the rules or an etiquette.